All right, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to talk about forces acting on an object, and we're going to find the net force, the angle, and the acceleration acting on the object. So the problem reads, two forces act on a 1,000 kilogram boat. The first force acts 20 newtons to the north, and the second force acts 10 newtons to the west. Determine, number one, the magnitude of the net force, and number two, the direction of the net force, and number three, the net acceleration acting on the boat. So I have my boat here. Okay, and I drew two boxes here. I'm, I'm going to explain to you why in a second. Uh, but I have my, my boat here. And I'm going to have two forces acting on this. The first one's going to be 20 newtons to the north. And the second one's going to be 10 newtons to the west. So before I do anything, I just want to define my compass over here. Just so we're clear about our directions. Because we could have defined any direction as our direction. So let's just define it here. So north, south, east, west. So I'm going to define my forces here. I've got 20 newtons to the north, and I've got 10 newtons to the west. So these are my forces here acting on this boat. So let me just label these. So force one is going to be 20 newtons, and force two is going to be 10 newtons to the west. Okay. So I'm going to draw over here the net force as my second free body diagram because I have a net force. It's going to be the second law application of this, okay? So let me put that in the center. So what I'm going to do, if I can center these, okay, I'm going to label this here in the y direction, F net in the y. This is going to be F net in the x. Okay, so you can see there's only two forces here. Those are the net forces. So this is a pretty simple uh, problem here. So I don't even really have to set these equations up, but I, I will just do it for completeness sake. I will say some of the forces in the x equals F net in the x. Okay, so I have 10 newtons this way, and that equals F net in the x. If I did some of the forces in the y equals F net in the y, I would just have 20 newtons equals F net in the y. It's really a formality, but I just went ahead and did it so you can see it. Now I have basically two, two components, and I need to find out my magnitude, angle, and direction of the vector, and then we're going to find out the acceleration. So the way that you do this is you, you, you start out by drawing an axis just from scratch. This is just how I like to do it down here. And I like to put my two components down here as we have them. Okay, So I have one in the x and then one in the y. And so I like to draw these. So I have 10 newtons west, 20 newtons north. So I'm just going to draw it like here with this green arrow. So I draw the x component first. Okay. Then I'm going to draw the y component next. And I'm just using these boxes to, to basically trace out these magnitudes here. So I did my x, and then I did my y. Okay, And that's the standard that we do. Now remember, there's three ways you could do this. You could do y then x. If you did the y then the x, it would look like this. Don't do that, because you're going to get the wrong one. Or you could draw them both going like this. Don't do that. Always just default to the x first, then the y. Okay. So now we can have our magnitude here. This is going to be our net force right here. So then we can have our magnitude right here. I'm going to make that a different color just so you can see it, OK? All right, so how do we solve for the magnitude here? Well, we knew that this one was going to be 10 newtons. We knew this one's going to be 20 newtons. So what is the magnitude here? What's the net force? OK, so the magnitude of the net force here is like this. And then I need to find my angle here, okay? 